Zadigo! Look at the stone job. Come along, Brother Tom was laying up his corner while I was uh, doing that demo. I did up to the light switch, and now I'm doing above that. It's called dry stack. Never done it before, but you see a lot of my wedges sticking out and this and that. It ain't finished product. It won't be for a while. At least till the end of the day, Tom's sticking with me for knocking this out. Just get mortar in where you might see the tar paper and brass roof and heads, whatever they are. Uh, you go back, you can lay over this and then tuck stuff in. It really is an interesting method, colored mortar, cultured stone. We called them lick them, stick them back in the day. No bricklayer would mess with these. Freeze, free. And they go up easy. <laughs> it's a cultured stone, like cultured pearls. We made it. That's the part you put mud to, and you just press it up, and you get an effect. I got box extensions. I put one up by the switch already. I ain't got one here, and I need a stone for that, but he decided to stone and stone on either side. Me being the owner of the house, and I don't care because I got the okay all the time. I cut a stone dead in half, and you can see the hue. I gotta put a box extension in that, and of course throw that in. I asked Tom, does that look all right? And he says, Jim, it pretty much all looks all right because <laughs> it's dry stack, and uh, it looks better than a, just a painted wall. I just wanted to share that with you. I don't do this. I haven't done, uh, I haven't done like them sickums in 25 or 30 years. Ain't a whole lot to it. It's a nice finish. And if you get them for free and you can raise the value of your house, I strongly suggest it. It's all part of the masonry art. Uh, it ain't all just chimneys. And uh, I hope you can look at my work and say, hey, what I did just ain't that bad. And what you did ain't that bad. And if we're all masons, we're all having fun, watch my movies and enjoy your life. Ah, there's my ovation. There's my PV. I got a quart six string. Good, good guitar. An area bass. And I just bought a Rockland drum set because I'm professionally trained, a professionally trained drummer from the 60s. You know, if all you can do is lay brick and make a few bucks and you ain't got much of a life, dude.